hey hi everyone i'm naval yamal so welcome to my youtube channel so in this video series we are going to start with python python for all so if you do not have any coding knowledge or if you do not have any programming knowledge prior so in this video will help you to start with python in a very very basic and a simple way so when it comes to python it is one of the simplest programming language it is very simple when you compare to any programming language it is simple and it is easy to understand simple and easy to understand so why i'm telling you simple and easy to understand that is a simple because if you look at if you look at the syntax of python when you compare to c or java so let me take a simple example let me take a hello world program in c suppose if i want to write a hello world program in c so here you need to write hash include std io standard input output dot header and then you need to write a main then you need to write printf inside this curly braces and say hello world okay something like that then we need to close this brace and then you need to compile and then run so there is so much process when you want to run a simple hello world program but if you look at python if you look at python it is so simple in one word or one line you can uh, define that program that hello world program just you can say hey can you print so just print and say hello world so this word or uh, this one line will take care of creating a simple program that is hello world so anyone can understand this language like just to say print hello world and your output will be hello world so it is so simple like anyone who knows a simple english language they can understand that hey what do you mean by print so print is nothing but i want to display something i want to show something so whatever you write in this double quotes we will print that so this is how python is a simple language if you go to java so you need to write five six lines of code to just print the hello world but in python it is very simple so that's why i am saying you that python is for all so you can easily understand python because it is simple and you can understand easily the prerequisite if you ask me like can you tell me what is the prerequisite what i need to start with python so i would say that you need only english language nothing else so you should know you should know how to read and write english and definitely you will understand what python is okay so let me open the notebook here instead of writing let me open a notebook a notepad yeah so so i'll tell you the second reason why the python is one of the most uh, used and one of the simplest lang programming language so let us take some example suppose if i say that a equal to 10 now you might have some idea of data types i hope so now this data type is nothing but an integer suppose if i want to declare that a equal to 10 in any other programming language i would say that program that hey my variable a will be an integer so i would if this is not a python i would say that i would declare a variable a and that variable a will be an integer like this even i declare a equal to 10 we need to say that hey that a will be an integer and your b will be an float and your c will be an string something like that but what python's python says you python is called a dynamically typed programming language dynamically typed programming language so what is called dynamically typed programming language so here you do not need to declare a variable or do not 
need to declare a data type for the variable. Suppose if I say a equal to 10 and if I say print a and if I say print type of a type of a and what I'm doing now I'm using a two functions here guys I'm using two functions. So what does print says? So whatever if you want to display something if you want to display the output we use print okay so print a so what is a a is 10 so i'll get 10 here okay the output will be 10 and i'm using a second function now inbuilt function that is called a type the so first is print we know what print does and then i'm saying that type what do you mean by type so what does type function do type function will give you that hey what is this the data type of a so the data type of a is an integer we have not declared we haven't declared anything and we did not say that a a is a integer type we did not say anything but python is very smart python is smart it will python knows that hey this is an integer i know so when you say type it will show you a day output as class int so that's why it is called a dynamically typed programming language if I say b equal to 10.5, okay, 10.5, and if I say print, can you tell me what is the type of b? If this would be any other programming language, maybe C, C++, Java, then I would have to say that, hey, I'm declaring b, and b will be in the float. I have to say that. But Python is a dynamically typed programming language, so we do not need to say that, hey, this is a float. Python knows. This is a float. So, how do you verify that Python knows? So, you can just say, hey, what is the type of B? So, it is a float. So, I'm just giving you a simple understanding and simple things like how Python is easy. So, if I want to write a hello world, just now a small repetition, then just say hello world. So, now it is very simple to understand whatever I'm writing in a print function that will display. But if I'm writing that in a double quotes, if I'm writing that in a double quotes, that will be printed. So whatever I write in this double quote, that will be printed. If I write print, double quotes, close. And if I give a space, this space will be printed. If I say Python is easy. And if I run this, if I just hit F5 or if I run this, you will see the output like python is easy by hello world in this okay or if i write print in a double quotes and if i say that hey python so if i run this you will see the output that hey python so this is how simple python is so you need to understand you can like if you want to write hello world program, it takes only one line, whereas in other programming language, it may take you four or five lines of code. And Python is called a dynamically typed programming language. So you do not require to explicitly declare a variable, like a, declare a data type for the variable. I will not say that, hey, like A is an integer, B is an float, C is an string, something like that. Python knows that these are the data types for that variable. So let us see about the history. Like if I like I always have a found of why the name is Python. Like when I started learning Python seven, eight years back, then I wanted to know why Python. So all uh, like if you go and search in Google, it will show you some snakes. So Actually, uh, it is not related to anything about this snake. So I'll just tell you some history of Python. So actually, the the scientist or who have invented this Python, his name is Guido von Rossum. Von Rossum. Okay. I'll show you his photo also because this is the person who you need to pray him every day to get a good career in Python. Okay. In any programming language so let me search his name so guido von rassam is the person is a dutch programmer you can see uh, his nationality is dutch 
and he is the mastermind he is the person who has created the python so you can see as a creator of the python programming language and now it is one of the most popular i guess it is van or van sorry it is van van rossen okay now if i say you like hey can you please tell me or can you think on when this this when does this python has launched uh, i mean when they have invented this was it after java or was it before java so if i ask you so if you look at the history python was started way back in 1989 was doing some research in netherlands and then he has launched it in 1991 but whereas java was launched way back in 1995 but java become so popular why it has become popular because it has an oops concept that is object oriented programming language that was not there in c in c there was not an oop concept uh, c was an functional programming language so we will see all about what do you mean by functional programming language and what do you mean by object oriented programming language so this is called as object oriented programming language as oops but if you see python python is nothing but it is like a all rounder you can i say that python as a all rounder so it works like a functional programming language also plus it works like a pro, uh, object oriented programming language also so it has both the features of functional as well as object oriented so that's why python has become so popular but again if you go back and see why python has not become popular in last uh, like in 2005 to 2010 11 why java was so much popular we will discuss and why all of the sudden the popularity of python has increased so much we will discuss about that also okay so uh, let me come to this word why python so when he was uh, like uh, working with uh, python he was very much impressed with one of the show so he was uh, like a uh, fun show he was liking the fun show and that show was named as the complete monty python's circus so this is the history what i have found out like this person was found or he was very much interested in this circus show and he from that he has pulled the name python and he has given it to the uh his programming language so it, it is like if i like any of the uh, news channel or any of the tv show due to the comedy circus or indian idol something like that so i i may pull that word and keep it for my program language it was the same case so he has pulled the name from the complete monty python circus and he has given the name for that okay just a short introduction so that you can remember how he has used the word python okay there is a history for every word okay so when it comes to python it is both functional programming language and object programming language so we will see in detail what do you mean by functional and object oriented programming language in detail okay so when you like when you see why python has become so much popular why python as become so much popular like in these days i would say you like many answers but one of the best suited answer is python supports extensive library so this is what i personally feel it has an extensive support for various libraries library so if i give you the example like the latest and trending technologies like if you took it take a big data if you take any data analytics analytics so if you take uh, artificial intelligence if you take machine learning if you take deep learning if you take anything about data science and if you talk about internet of things all these technologies has something their own expertise or own libraries in that so suppose if you took about take about big data there is spark so you can use spark with python if you are talking about data analytics we use python for cleaning the data for shaping the data if you are talking about ai ml deep learning and data science there are few libraries like numpy is there pandas is there matplotlib is there if you are specifically talking about ml then we have scikit-learn keras tensorflow 
there are so many libraries that support python so you can do all this with this python not only these latest technologies there are so many things like you can develop and desktop application so desktop application so what do you mean by desktop application so there are so many apps in my desktop suppose if i take a simple uh, application of calculator so if i open the app you can see app desktop application like calculator and if i open it so this calc can be built by using a programming language of python so just an example calculator okay calculator and if you ask me like what we can do with the python you can develop a web applications web applications develop web applications now what do you mean by like web applications like you can uh, like do a web application like gmail you can go and build a facebook you can go and do any amazon account and so on so there are so many web applications you can build on using python but our course our course we are not going deeper into web applications and uh, desktop applications or network applications or gaming and all you can also build a gaming uh, games also you can do network application and there are so many other applications you can do but we are restricted towards the big data data analytics only okay and somewhat of data science and some of the libraries there so this is how uh, where and why python has become so popular this is the reason thank you guys thank you for watching this basics of python so we'll continue in the next video like what are the features of python and we'll see how to install python keep learning thank you